All right, here's some footage on my walk-in incubator. I don't have a clutch of eggs yet, but I will. And I uh, got the incubator all fired up. It's been running for about a month now. And I just like to run it about a month before I get my eggs. Just to tweak it and make sure everything's working good and I'm ready for eggs. I uh, shut my incubator off after my last clutch is hatched and clean everything up and just let it alone just because it's a massive amount of electric to run it. And uh, I usually turn it on. I usually get my first clutch of eggs sometime in April. So I usually turn it on like March 1st and tweak it and make sure it's right. Anyway, what we got here is this is a Helix 1500 watt system. And what I got here is there's a module. There's a readout right there. And uh, I usually set it, well, I've got it set at like 88 and a half. And that's the temperature that I like to keep it at. But it actually fluctuates a little bit in the incubator room. But pretty much when I come back here, I always see 88 point something. It's never 89 or 87. It takes a lot of tweaking, but I got it. Anyway, that's the uh, module itself right there. And then on top is the alarm. And that's a little separate attachment. And what happens is that little wire, that little jumper goes out and goes up. And I've just got a little alarm right there. So basically, if it goes too hot or too cold, and I've got temperatures set, so if it gets too hot, it will sound an alarm. If it gets too cool, it'll sound an alarm. So that's an audible alarm right there, which I can never hear, but everybody else can. So that's how that works. Now, what you got here is it's all powered by that bugger right there. So that's the power. Everything's plugged in right there. Now this little white box is my auto dialer. And what happens is if the helix, uh, if my set points, my highs or lows get out of range, that right there, the helix itself, the sends a signal to the alarm and it'll sound that little audible alarm that I just showed you. And then what it'll do is it sends a signal to this little box, which is an auto dialer. And I've got that set for four phone numbers and what it does is it starts dialing and it'll dial out a number and I've got a little recording in there that says hey get your butt home the incubator is messed up and you gotta tweak it right now it's not plugged in but it plugs right into that little phone jack right there I don't leave it plugged in while I'm tweaking it but once eggs are in there to get plugged in if there's any problems with the temperatures the uh, helix will send an alarm It'll go into that auto dialer and then it'll automatically dial me or my cell, the house. It dials Rob. It dials, that's fatty. It dials everybody. Um, it's a good safeguard. So anyway, there's the whole 1500 watt system. That's what powers the whole thing. And if you can see right there, that right there is a jumper in between the helix. And I'll show you guys what that is. That's actually another thermostat inside the room in case my helix would fail this jumper right here won't allow the heat inside to get higher than what I want the setting to be. So it's just a safeguard in case I've got some heating issues. And uh, I've never had to use it, thank God, but it's there. Anyway, this is the beginning or the front or the entrance to where it all happens. And uh, this module on the Helix, this is the old style module, and there you can see the little lights coming on right there. See, it's at 88 degrees. That light on the left that's flickering means that it's calling for power to raise it up. And that's how a Helix works. To uh, get the temperature, you'll see it power up. The left light means that it's powering up to supply uh, a signal to the heat source, which is my radiate heater inside, and that's what keeps it warm. That's what keeps the room warm. Jesus. And uh, I got a couple little screwdrivers up there. Little tiny screwdrivers are a must when you got a helix because right there, those little tiny set screws are how you set the temperatures. And it says minimum and maximum. That's because I got min and max set points. And if you don't see that, then that means that you don't have min and max set points set for your alarm. So right there's operating properly. It's set. Now what we got here is a metal door. This is a standard exterior door, metal, insulated inside, threshold, sealed, weather stripped, the whole nine yards. We're going in. 
Turn on the light. All right. All right, now we're in the room. We're in the walk-in incubator. Right there is that other little thermostat that I've got running in between the helix and the uh, oil-filled radiator, the radiator heater. So if the helix does fail, this right here will take over and won't allow my room temperature to get too hot. And that just goes right through there, down there, through the wall, and that's where that jumper was. Now this cable right here is the extension cord coming off of the helix, and what it's powering is a radiator.